Hello and welcome to Circuits with Charlotte. So here we have the Light Up Bracelet project. The idea is that this is a chain of LEDs which you wrap around your wrist and you can change the colour and pattern on the LEDs by using an app on your phone. At the heart of this project is an Adafruit Gemma. This is a small microcontroller. So a microcontroller is basically a simplified version of a computer in the sense that it'll run one program over and over again. So it's great in electronics projects because it, takes a, it means that you're focused solely on doing that job, whereas the computer doesn't have to handle anything else other than your program. Attached to the Gemma are six NeoPixels. These are chainable, meaning that you only need to use one output pin on the Gemma. And they're also capable of a full spectrum of RGB colours, meaning that you can pick any colour that you want. Next we have an NFC antenna. You might have heard of these from such applications as contactless card payments or maybe public transport systems. These allow you to communicate from one device to another by writing certain information from one device to the tag on the actual board. This can then be read by the Gemma. We also have a battery pack which allows us to power the device and finally a phone which has an app on it which enables us to communicate with the bracelet. It's quite a simple interface which lets us input a colour for every LED and a number of seconds that we want it to turn on. The app is written in Java and it's targeted specifically at Android devices so it won't work with iPhone or Windows Phone. So let me show you a quick demonstration. Since it's wearable, I'll attach this to my wrist. This looks a little bit clunky but it's an initial prototype so it doesn't really matter that it doesn't look that beautiful. But hopefully over time it'll improve. I'm now attaching the antenna which lets us communicate with the phone. Um, this uses the protocol I2C, that's a two wire protocol so um, it has power, ground but the two signal wires, are like just those two wires. Um, and basically it has a data line which allows us to send the data backwards and forwards from the device and to, like, to the device. It also has a SCL line which synchronises the devices together. So I'm going to connect the SDA and the SCL to the Gemma. I'm now going to load the app on my phone, which allows me to communicate with the device. I'm doing this before turning the Gemma on so that it's got something to read. On the app, there's several different buttons which we can click in order to change the colour. And underneath the buttons, there's a section where you can put in a number of seconds to turn that LED on. So now I'm going to put the uh, NFC reader against my phone and do and generate the signal. So that's updated the tag um, and now I'm going to power up the device using the battery pack. As we can see the first LED is now flashing red because that's what we programmed in from the phone. We could easily change this by resetting the device and opening up the app again and then reprogramming it to play a different pattern. Whilst this project is quite simple in that we're only inputting data that we've chosen, as in in the sense that we're picking a different colour, picking the amount of seconds you turn it on and off, we could take this a lot further. For example, you could have the weather data from wherever you are and have it display bright yellow if the sun's out or blue if the clouds are out. You could then take it to being a GPS locator, so say you had uh, directions up on your phone, you could have the bracelet light up in, a, like, in accordance to which direction you should be taking next. I'd love to hear some new ideas on where we can take this, so feel free to comment below with your suggestion and maybe we can collaborate. If you'd like to learn more about this project then you can click the link here and find out more.